Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for believing in our great city of Nairobi and contributing to its economic and social growth at a space that puts us on the world map. Thank you for keeping the peace of this great city during the past elections. Nairobians, you are hard-working, inspirational, and admirable segments of this great nation. As we celebrate our city's great achievement, let us remember that there is still work to be done. You still have needs, dreams, desires, and hopes for this city, and you are gained from it. I'm here to serve you. I want to help you achieve those needs. I was born in the Narok. At the time, it was but a small village. I worked hard to make my way to the capital. I had the same dream as you do. But in my guess to be the boy who made it in the capital from the village, my attitude changed to one of being a servant to the people of this great city and my entry into the council. This opportunity you have given me epitomizes my dream to serve. So one can say, I have achieved my dream. It just so happens to be one that put me in a position to enable you to achieve yours. I hereby declare that I am answerable to you. You have the right to share your needs and I'll do my, my utmost best to, to ensure they are met. The city, as you all are aware, some of us who have served this city in the capacity of a commissioner and councillor, we know the needs of this city. It needs the both divine of the house for the city of Nairobi to appreciate its name. May I take this early opportunity to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, that politics aside, work begins. I'll be a very, very heartbroken man indeed if we are going to be of a political class but not thinking of the people who have elected you. Those people are the first in any, any, anything that you think about. We have a lot of things to do. And I want to ask my brothers from the both sides, let this assembly be of men and women of honor. May we be men who shall be counted by the city residents as their men and women of honor and their heroes. My office is open to everybody, and all of you are my friends and my brothers. Some of you are my relatives. So I call upon you humbly before this wonderful, wonderful occasion. Rise up and size up. Ladies and gentlemen, we will move together. We will work together. We shall deliver together. I know this city like the back of my hand. And therefore, I also call upon the chief officers. It is time really to reflect to the past. Having been here for many years, 
I like to call upon you, the change have come, and you've got to change with it, because it is for your good. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the governor elect of this great city, and I promise to work with him hand in hand as I work with you all who have ele were elected and those who will be nominated to come to this great assembly. As a first speaker, I am sure for those who know me, you know the city is in good hands. I just want to pray God to keep you well, safe, and your families so as to enable you to work for those people who are eagerly awaiting for the fruits of your election. My office will be open to all. You are my employer. I'm your employee. Thank you once again. God bless this city. God bless the men and women elected to this assembly. And may God bless the Nairobians. Thank you. Thank you so much.